by introducing a universal basic income, you're really talking about transforming society and transforming the way culture um, views value, right? Um, where do you think we are right now as a society in accepting that? I, I will say I've, I've, you know, what were very academic discussions on the Carnegie Council stage about universal basic income seem to have gotten more and more in the mainstream. Oh yeah. I mean, are, I mean, are we getting there and what's propelling that? I'm where I am because I believe that this is inevitable and we don't have a choice. And that the sooner we get there, the better off our society will be. That if we go too late, that's actually catastrophic. If we go too early, then that just gives us more time to build the new institutions that are necessary to complement it and, uh, and get us through this transition. Mm -hmm. And, um, and the, the, the truth is we are the richest and most technologically advanced society in human history and we can easily afford $1,000 per American adult per month. I've heard that would be 10 to 12 percent of GDP. Well, the, That's expensive. Well, the, the great thing is that every dollar goes into the hands of an American consumer and then the vast majority is just going to be spent and circulated through the economy. So it would actually grow the economy, yeah, is the, the hope. The, well, the Roosevelt Institute uh, tried to model it out, and you probably saw this, yeah. um, where, where they found that uh, universal basic income at $1,000 a month, which is what I'm proposing um, in my campaign, uh, which we've called the Freedom Dividend, mm -hmm. would grow the economy by 4.6 million jobs. 2.5 trillion. And by 2 2025, yes. I pulled the information from the left-leaning Roosevelt Institute, who is, um, to their credit, doing a lot of research on how this will happen. But, but I want to say it's common sense that most Americans are struggling. If they got $1,000 a month, what are they going to do? They're going to spend it in their town, like on their children, like uh, paying bills. If you can imagine Walmart, AT&T, like every major consumer company, all of a sudden, their consumers would have more to spend. I mean, that's where the money's going to go. Mm -hmm. So it, it would clearly grow the economy. And I've worked with hundreds of entrepreneurs uh, around the country. Entrepreneurs um, have their heads up and are trying to solve problems. They're often not people that are desperately trying to scramble to pay their bills month mm -hmm. to month. If we uh, implemented a universal basic income, it would be the greatest catalyst for entrepreneurship and creativity we have ever seen. They would create tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of new businesses. Mm -hmm.